made in her pail. Patty, a milkmaid milked her cow and had two full pails of fresh, creamy milk. She put both pails of milk on a stick and set off to the market to sell the milk. As she took steps towards the market, her thoughts took steps towards wealth. On her way, she kept thinking about the money she would make from selling the milk. Then she thought about what she would do with that money. She was talking to herself and said, Once I get the money, I'll buy a chicken. The chicken will lay eggs, and I will get more chickens. They'll all lay eggs, and I will sell them for more money. Then, I'll buy the house on the hill, and everyone will envy me. She was very happy that soon she would be very rich. With these happy thoughts, she marched ahead. But suddenly, she tripped and fell. Both the pails of the milk fell and all her dreams were shattered. The milk spilled onto the ground, and all Patty could do was cry. No more dream, she cried foolishly. The Tale of the Pencil A boy named Raj was upset, because he had done poorly in his English test. He was sitting in his room when his grandmother came and comforted him. His grandmother sat beside him and gave him a pencil. Raj looked at his grandma puzzled and said he didn't deserve a pencil after his performance in the test. His grandma explained, you can learn many things from this pencil because it is just like you. It experiences a painful sharpening just the way you have experienced the pain of not doing well on your test. However, it will help you be a better student. Just as all the good that comes from the pencil is from within itself, you will also find the strength to overcome this hurdle. And finally, just as this pencil will make its mark on any surface, you too shall leave your mark on anything you choose to. Raj was immediately consoled and promised to himself that he would do better. The Crystal Ball Nasser, a small boy, found a crystal ball behind the banyan tree of his garden. The tree told him that it would grant him a wish. He was very happy and he thought hard, but unfortunately, he could not come up with anything he wanted. So. He kept the crystal ball in his bag and waited until he could decide on his wish. Days went by without him making a wish, but his best friend saw him looking at the crystal ball. He stole it from Nasser and showed it to everyone in the village. They all asked for palaces and riches and lots of gold, but could not make more than one wish. In the end, everyone was angry because no one could have everything they wanted. They became very unhappy and decided to ask Nasser for help. Nasser wished that everything would go back to how it was once, before the villagers had tried to satisfy their greed. The palaces and gold vanished and the villagers once again became happy and content. A Bundle of Sticks Once upon a time, Three neighbors living in a village were having trouble with their crops. Each of the neighbors had one field, but the crops on their fields were infested with pests and were wilting. Every day, they would come up with different ideas to help their crops. The first one tried using a scarecrow in his field, the second used pesticides, and the third built a fence on his field, all to no avail. One day, the village head came by and called the three farmers. He gave them each a stick and asked them to break it. The farmers could break them easily. He then gave them a bundle of three sticks, and again, asked them to break it. This time, the farmers struggled to break the sticks. The village head said, Together, you are stronger and work better than you do it alone. The farmers understood what the village head was saying. They pooled in their resources and got rid of the pests from their fields. The Ant and the Dove On a hot scorching day of summer, an ant was walking around in search of water. 
After walking around for some time, she saw a river and was delighted to see it. She climbed up on a small rock to drink the water, but she slipped and fell into the river. She was drowning but a dove who was sitting on a nearby tree helped her. Seeing the ant in trouble, the dove quickly dropped a leaf into the water. The ant moved towards the leaf and climbed up on it. The dove then carefully pulled a leaf out and placed it on the land. This way, the ant's life was saved and she was forever indebted to the dove. The ant and the dove became the best of friends and days passed happily. However, one day, a hunter arrived at the forest. He saw the beautiful dove sitting on the tree and aimed his gun at the dove. The ant, who was saved the dove saw this and bit on the heel of the hunter. He shouted from the pain and dropped the gun. The dove was alarmed by the voice of the hunter and realized what could have happened with him. He flew away. Thank you for watching this video guys. If you want more video like this, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new videos updates. Take care.